I was a dishwasher at the Greyhound bus station in my hometown, Macon, Georgia. I had been washing plates for so long, I was tired. And I wrote Tutti Fruity and Good Golly Miss Molly and bless your soul. I got out of the kitchen. Listen, I, I was a young boy. I, I wanted to be famous so bad and I really wanted a Cadillac. Uh -huh. Lord, Christ, <laughs> Lord Christ came to my hometown and he had a long, he had a Cadillac and so I wanted to sing and get me a Cadillac. I wanted to be famous for one purpose to get a Cadillac. Just get the Cadillac. Uh, but I've always loved God. You know, in, in my hometown, if you didn't love God, you didn't have nothing because it was so prejudiced back, because it was so prejudiced back in that time, you know. Uh, I had to uh, do what I was doing in order to survive. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean had to do what you were doing to survive? Uh, well, you know, uh, when I was singing rock and roll, they, at that time, they were called black music, race music when I sung, sung rock and roll. I was on RCA Victor before Elvis Presley, but they wouldn't put me on RCA, they put me on Camden. So when I would wear makeup, they would let me sing for the white girls. When I would put on eyelashes and all mm -hmm. that, they would let me sing. I can't turn you loose. If I do, I'm gonna lose my mind. I can't ever turn you loose. If I do, I'm gonna lose my yah yah. Well, I can't turn you loose for nobody. Cause I love you, baby, yes I do. Now, ooh, baby, hip shaking, mom, I love you, and I do anything for you. I'm gonna give you anything you don't. I'm gonna give you everything you want. Yah yah yah. Keep on holding on. But when I went as a just straight dude, they wouldn't let me sing. Now, now why is that? Well, they thought I wanted the girls. Uh -huh. So if I was came out a straight guy, they wouldn't let me sing. But when I came out with all the makeup on and all the eyelashes and all the hair, they said, Richard is a good boy. I yeah. never was a good man, but I was a good boy. Yeah. Now, who is they that you're talking about here? Uh, uh, some of the whites in Macon, who I'm from, I came from a little town. Yeah. You know, it was real prejudice yeah. back in that time. I got out of the kitchen. Long, tall Sally just took me on to California, and I stayed there. What sort of family background were you from, though? What? Um, I was from, uh, my mother had 12 kids. I have six brothers and five sisters, but I was the best-looking one of all of them. And I'm not conceited at all. What do they all do now? Uh, well, I have a brother, he's a CPA, my sisters are, two sisters are nurses. But you're the only nurse. person that's in yes, show business. Yes, in show business. Yeah. I'm the only one. See, because they don't like to dress like I do. I like to put it on. I had noticed, actually. I actually. love to put it on. I like to shine. <laughs> I notice you're wearing makeup. Do you wear makeup Yes, I do. All I the know time? That, yes, you're supposed to wear makeup. Just, you know, just like when you to toast your bread, no. I put sugar in your coffee, you're supposed to add a little touch to it. <laughs> Oh, so I must remember that. Yes, God. You're supposed to do it. I, Excuse oh, me. It's soul. Yeah. I'm the king of rock and roll, and I'm also the emancipator of soul and the creator and the originator. My God. I was down there, and I was so tired. Mm -hmm. I was tired. Have you ever seen anybody tired? I was tired, y'all. Lord Price had put out a blues hit called Lord and Miss Claudia. And he came through my hometown, Macon, Georgia, in a golden black Cadillac with a towel on the back of it. I thought he was going to roll it down the street, but he didn't. <laughs> oh, God. And he brought, came over there to me, and he said, now, nah, we're going to make this tape and send this little tape up here to special directors. I made the tape, sent it on up to special, and they waited two years before they came to see me. Bumps Blackwell, they did it. Then they met me down in New Orleans, Louisiana, wanted me to sing like Ray Charles, and I refused. And when they got down there, he got two to fruity, although he had to clean it up, but he got it. Uh, I was playing for the church. My grandfather was a preacher, Reverend Penniman. He died. And I played, and so finally, when Lord Price heard me, I sent a tape, and Bumps Blackwell met me in New Orleans. My first record came out and hit. And did you know that Elvis Presley and Pat Boone sold more of two to fruity than I did? And I wrote it and sung it. Did that bother you? No, it didn't. It made me feel good. They opened a the door that was locked, and I couldn't get in. And I wrote it. But you got in afterwards? Yes, I did. And now my wife and my little boy, they're happy with me with Tutti Frutti. And then when you were really on top in 57... I'm on top now. Oh, but when you were really enormous. Oh, you know. I'm enormous now. Just said that I ain't got my light on up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Initially, when you were enormous, right? God bless your heart. In 1957, 58, yes. you retired. 
Yes, I did. And what did you do then? I went, went to study religion, uh, uh, it's Jewish religion, you know, from sundown Friday to sundown Saturday, Sabbath, and, uh, you know, the Passover feast mm -hmm. and all. And my, my people in there now, you know, they keep the Sabbath, seven-day Sabbath. You're Jewish? I, uh, my family. Yes. And so I went to school there and I studied theology. And so after I came out of it, I didn't go into it. I wanted to come back and sing for my fans and my friends. I never leave my fans and my friends again because they need me and I need them. We help each other so much. But why did you drop out in the first place when you were Well, because I so wanted enormous. to study and learn about, you know, about the love of God and that the black and white, the red, brown, and the yellow, we're just like the lily, the rose, the sunflower, and the medallions. We're God's bouquet, the children's of love. And I just want to learn about the love of God so we can learn how to help and treat each other. Uh, you came back in 63, about, mm -hmm. right? No, um, I came back in 60. Oh, that's, so, when yeah. I, that's when I took the Beatles with me. See, I played uh, a, a Liverpool for Brian Epstein. He had a record store, and I took the Beatles and Mick Jagger with me. Mick Jagger was living on a truck. I had Jimi Hendrix playing guitar for me. I had Billy Preston on the organ, James Brown, and Joe Tex was my vocalist. I had all of them. That's the reason I'm the king. All of them came from me. Poor little old bit of me, a little Jewish boy, black bottom from Georgia. <laughs> tell, I learned that through the years. Yeah. Tell me, do you feel, um, do you feel in yourself, uh, uh, what's the word, rather shy? I mean, you know, you walk around like this. Do you ever, ever feel that you want to hide away? Oh, yourself, no, know? God. I don't want to hide nothing. God knows I don't. I ain't never hear nothing. Holy mackerel, Andy. I ain't never hit nothing. I want every. I let it all hang out. Yeah. 